cửa đó. There's always that in between buffer. We're good to go. All right. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Today is uh, Wednesday, 26, 2023, and uh, this is your Daytona Beach Coaches Corner. Uh, my name is Coach Eli. With me, as always, to my right, we have head coach, uh, co-owner, Mr. Derek Clark. Over there in the cut, you have the OC, Coach Joe. To my left, we have general manager, uh, Coach, I forgot your name for a second, <laughs> Mr. Craig Miles. And then today with us, we have uh, Mr. Jason, owner of Big Kids Toys. Uh, while I have you guys here, man, before We're still going? We're still live. We're still live. All right. All right. Sorry, guys, about technical difficulties. But yeah, man, just go ahead and do me a favor and just go on that Facebook page and give us a like. Um, you can also check us out under Daytona, DaytonaBeachBroncos.com. You can check out all our fan merch, check out the full list of roster players, etc. all that good stuff. So, uh, so yeah, man, Mr. Jason, uh, like I said, owner of Big Kid Toys, we are down here. Where are we at? Uh, on Ridgewood Avenue in Daytona Ridge Beach. Ridgewood, what's the address? How can they uh, find you? 1333 South Ridgewood Ave. Yeah. And then uh, do you have any kind of like website? Facebook, oh, yeah, yeah. Or? So we, uh, we were, we're mostly an online store. Um, we sell a lot of, uh, and as you can see in the background here, a lot of collectible things. Um, nice so team. any kind of car enthusiast, mechanic, auto body technician, and people like that, they really love our stuff. Uh, we have uh, probably about over 10,000 followers just on our page alone. Um, that page you can go on Big Kid Merchandise and you can you know, like uh, our page and see what we have. The website's uh, BigKidMerchandise.com um, and like I said, we're mostly an online store and we have everything that you know, um, you know, you'd want for like your man cave and things like that, or even you know, collectible stuff. And um, in fact, we're going to be uh, doing some uh, giveaways for the first playoff game. So if you come to the playoff game, uh, we're going to have some uh, things we're going to be throwing in the stands and a little thing for halftime. And it is one of the items here, a uh, football, so a little mini football. So uh, if you just uh, you know check out the website, we have a lot of cool stuff. And like I said, we 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 you know we're. Uh, we're big in the people that, you know, like they're into the car business and they like, you know, they fixing things and stuff like that, car enthusiasts. All that um, toy related stuff for us big kids, you know? Yes. So, uh, I mean, so or do you do like, so is it mostly just, you know, find, buy and sell type stuff or do you do have like rentals, like things that people can come and, you know, like like bikes or stuff like that? Or um, well, I just we, noticed you so, had a few bikes laying around. Yeah, you know, so or, we, we have, uh, well actually those two motorcycles over there are actually mine. Really? Yeah, oh, I mean, I have, nice. I have my own toys I keep around here oh, too. Got, got, a lot of my own you, toys. So I named the business after myself. They always, always called me a big kid, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna name the business after myself. Yeah, you there know? you go. You know, everyone calls me a big kid, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we, we have like, you know, things like uh, e-bikes and stuff like that too. Um, we kind of moved more into an online platform uh, because that's where Pretty a lot of people- everything is. Yeah, everything just kind of went online. Line. Um, so we do have bikes too. Uh, we're actually uh, launching a, a, a new website. I'm working on it right now. Um, I really got a kind of a crash course here from an engineer in California that's been helping me develop a new website because mine's a little outdated now. Because right. we've been around for a few years now and a website that has a three year template apparently is ancient. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> so, pretty much. Yeah, so we're going to be launching this new website. We have all these other uh, products on there. But, um, you know, we have uh, in stock here in this building. You guys probably don't believe it, but I have over 30,000 items sitting in this building here. Really? Yes. Wow. So, we have a lot of stuff, a lot of hard things to find, collectible stuff that people you got can be looking you know, around. <laughs> no, well, yeah. well, after the show, you I'll, I'll, I'll take it to the back room. I was about to say, he's got a, he must have the back room back there with all you the good go stuff. Crazy. Yeah, you're going to go crazy. I mean, but yeah, BigKidMerchandise.com, all one word. Um, you can go on there. You can like our Facebook page, uh, Big Kid Merchandise, um, and you can see what it's all about. But, you know, I'll tell you, a lot of people love shopping our website. Uh, we have tons and tons of customers, repeat customers. Um, so we just have a lot of fun with it, and uh, we're, we're proud to be, you know, part of the Daytona Beach Broncos. Um, but like I said, if you come out to the game, uh, the first playoff game, which is next weekend, I probably right, right? May 6th. May 6th. Yeah, May 6th. Um, we're going to have uh, some, some giveaways we're going to be doing. Um, so, you know, definitely come out and take advantage of that. And uh, that's basically all I got to say. You can use that chair. So, um, 
I mean, the building is wonderful. It's nice, but is is this something that you've always been doing, or did you start like in the garage, you know, out the house, just kind of? Yeah. So it's kind of funny you say that. I, um, uh, you know, during the pandemic in June of 2020, really? you know, um, the first like few months before that, you know, uh, they're telling everybody to sit home and, mm -hmm. you know, don't go anywhere. And I'm like, I have to move a thousand miles an hour. I, <laughs> right. I can't sit around. I'm like, you know, like, you know, so um, I went in my garage like everyone else is doing right clean out the garage. And I found a box of stuff that um, was there in the corner that from when I was a Snap-on tool dealer. And uh, I said, well, this is pretty interesting. I said, I want to put this online and sell it, you know, because, you know, you make give, me money. give me something to do, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Not even just the money, just give me something to do. And then from there, I sold the stuff pretty fast. And then I called up uh, an, another friend of mine that used to be a dealer. And I said, hey, uh, do you got anything in your garage, you know, from the Snap-on? And he's like, yeah, why? What do you, what, what do you want to do with it? I said, I want to buy it. So... He's like, all right. So I bought the stuff, and then one thing led to another. My house filled up, where it was like a maze inside my house to get around. And then I moved to a storage unit, and then I, you know, moved to another building, and then uh, I moved my business from New Jersey, where I was living, to Florida here um, two years ago, and then we moved into this building, and it just went from there. So we went from a box of items uh, three years ago this June to, to over thirty thousand items. Wow. Yeah, that is pretty good. And then plus, to, and plus, be, to be able to move like that and do that during the pandemic time, right. you know, yeah. everything was way harder. You know, you know, connecting to people was harder. You know, you, yeah. you, you know, society was pretty much closed off. So it's like everything kind of pushed to online. You know, and then just the buying and selling. There was yeah. a lot of stuff involved. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, it was a lot of fun too, though, because even during that time, you know, when they're telling people to still sit home, you can't go anywhere, and social distance, and all this other yeah. stuff. I'm on the road and I'm driving around and picking up stuff all across the country. I bet traffic was pretty good. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was driving all over the place. I went to Missouri, I went to all these other places. I'm picking up stuff, and then I'm just having a blast with it, you know. Yeah. And I'm at the house, and you know, everything's kind of going pretty good, and and you know, and just so basically something that I just was doing to keep myself occupied it really kind of changed my life that's you know awesome. and that's that's really what's really good. and I've done a lot of things before that I've been basically an entrepreneur um, but this was something that really I just wasn't planning on doing it was just to kind of like something kill some time yeah right. something I just did yeah you were already doing it for fun pretty much you know and now it's just now yeah you're, now you're making a living out of yeah, it. yeah and you know what I love the products too the products are a lot of fun um, when I, was shows, say, I do see a lot of snap-on stuff I was, yeah that's what we I mostly sell ask you that's what we it. mostly yeah. sell so I am not an authorized snap-on dealer so what I do is I just buy stuff from snap-on dealers that either left the business or retired and then uh, I resell it you know gotcha. and a lot of this stuff that is promotional stuff it's licensed uh, merchandise um, you guys know about licensed merchandise Dice, right and um, you know uh, and people just can't find it I mean I got people that message me that love the stuff but they don't see a truck they don't see the merchandise and they just you know get it from us and you know we, we did a show two weeks ago up in uh, Pigeon Forge Tennessee uh, rod run and uh, we really I went there on my trailer and my expectation was like well you know if I do a little bit of sales just to cover my cost right. I'll be happy because I had some I had doubles and triples and quadruples of some stuff that I just had sitting here. And we basically almost sold out the stand yeah. <laughs> in three when, days. When they're really just to have fun. and then yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. right? And then <laughs> I mean, even his other TV personality guy was there. And uh, he, he comes by the tent because he was doing autographs somewhere. And he comes by and he goes, man, I see a lot of people over here. Tent. What do you got over here? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, come check it out. I, said, I got some goodies here. <laughs> Not a lot left, so you better get it yeah, now. Exactly. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, do you have any, um, as far as future plans, you know, do you have any, any plans on like expanding or are you just kind of, you know, at this point, I mean, as I mentioned before, I'm trying to make my website more user friendly. Right. So I think that's like, kind of like my, my focus though, but now like it's opened some other doors too, because like, um, my, um, uh, my brother-in-law, he, he's like, he's a rock star and he belongs to this big rock band. Right. And he's like, Hey man, you think you could like you know help us out with more of our, our merchandise? You know what I mean? And like you know, because they like some of the stuff that I have, and they want to put their name on it. And so I don't know. I mean, it might, that might turn to something else. You, know? you, never, you never know. You never I mean, know. I said, you made me go rock star. No, I mean not that like that, but you know, but he's getting ready to go on tour actually. But you know, I sent him pictures of some of the stuff that that we have, and he's like, man, he goes, our band name would be cool to have that on there. You know, who's the vendor for that? You know, so uh, you know. 
it's it's I don't know. We just it's just we'll see. Right. Yeah, we'll see. Right. But the website's the main focus though, because I want people to be able to go on there and find things. And you know, I get a lot of people that message me saying, "Hey, I can't find this. I can't find that." And uh, you know, and that's a little problematic uh, because we do live in a world of technology now. Right. And you know, this whole like you know. Uh, brick and mortar thing is kind of like going to wayside. I mean, you saw what happened with Bed Bath and Beyond, right? right. I mean, they're going bankrupt. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, and you know that's why, like, I had the store here for a little while, and we kind of phased out of the store again because it just kind of reminded me that you know right. we're just this is the times we're living in now. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. It's definitely everything's pretty much going to uh, you know online stores, buying everything online. The Amazon's pretty much shutting everybody down. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just so much simpler that way. I mean, right. and you know what? And I touch a lot of people all across the world. It mm -hmm. the stuff I sell right. all around the world. Think about that, right? Australia, Europe, and Japan, right? Mm -hmm. And and people just can't find the stuff that I have. I mean, because I'm the, I'm the only guy in the world that's doing this with this type of product. You know, so you know, without the online, you wouldn't be able to get it. Right. You know, unless you found it in a store somewhere, you know. And hey, it must be nice to be the go-to man. What? Yeah, I, I, I am the go-to. I mean, That's it's amazing right. how I, I'm not even a dealer for this brand anymore. I was a dealer. I left in 2013, but I have more merchandise than most You're dealers. like the ultimate right. middleman. Exactly. I'm the ultimate yeah, middleman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you go to the back room. Wait till you get to Yeah, I was about to say. I when you go in the back room, you guys, you know, are going to be like this. Like, We're going to have oh to take gosh. a special. Just pick, bring, bring the camera, bring everything. We're just going to take it on back. <laughs> Well, that's awesome, man, man. I, I really appreciate you, you know, you having us and, you know, you supporting us and being here and, you know, jumping in there and, you know, like I said, you know, coming out there with the, you know, the stuff to throw to the fans. You know, it's, it's going to be fun. It's yeah. Fun, in fact, man. even behind you there, that, that football right there, I was thinking about maybe getting Derek to uh, sign it, the one right there, and maybe we can do like some kind of... Uh, you know, like a uh, giveaway, a giveaway like halftime because at the halftime I have this idea with the frisbee. There's a frisbee behind Greg right there, mm -hmm. and I have this thing. It's actually a snap-on socket, right? It's a big, huge snap-on socket. It's kind of funny, right? And then you gotta throw it in the in the hole, you know. So I thought like a little frisbee challenge, like for halftime, would be kind of cool, right? And whoever wins the frisbee challenge can can win the autograph football yeah, or something like that. I say, as I say, we we should definitely have a conversation after this. Okay. And get it all put down <laughs> in paper. Okay. So. Absolutely. Well, yeah, man, this is definitely awesome, man. I really appreciate it. Um, well, I mean, I don't think you have anywhere else to go. You want to hang out and talk some football with us, or yeah, it's you know, fine. If yeah, you got other stuff to do. I mean, you I'll can. Just just listen, I mean, I'm kind of curious to know what you guys are doing and what's going on. So. You uh, are now are you a semi pro fan? Do you watch a lot of semi pro XFL stuff like that? You know, I I do not. Um, I don't even follow college football that much. I mean, I'm from New Jersey, and I'm pretty sure Derek can appreciate this. Us Northeast people, like, we kind of just follow the NFL more than anything, right? right? right. I mean, you know, I mean, I think Rutgers was the closest school by me where I grew up, and, and wow. growing up, Rutgers was like nobody's. I mean, if you went there, you were just, you know, so. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting familiar with it. So, you know, I saw something the other day about some XFL player breaking some kind of record or something like that. So that probably Abram Smith. Yeah. Uh, it so had to be. Yeah. Um, he's so I'm, he's I'm, been like number one in every category since the beginning of the season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's fun, and I'm definitely trying to keep track of it. And I'm I'm, I'm hoping that you guys will uh, you know continue on, and hopefully uh, I can you know, oh, yeah. see more of what you guys do. We'll definitely be continuing on all the way to June third. So, all right. Well, hey, I guess um, we will jump into a little FCFL recap. Um, do we have any, as far as guests coming in, or is that something that's on? We're still working on that. All right. So, hey, guys, hey, just do me a favor. If you haven't already, man, just, you know, hop on the Facebook page, check us out, hit that like, uh, follow button. Um, if you haven't had a chance to uh, come out to any of the games uh, there's the gridiron sports or gridiron production llc you can check them out as well on facebook they have a youtube channel has all the games on there um, you can check us out there as well um, you can also go onto the website www.daytonabeachmoncos.com you can get all your fan merch uh, definitely go on there check it out so you can bring some stuff out to the game you never know when you can get a discount and get in the game free or you never know what happens you got broncos gear on you come out there so so uh but yeah man it was a uh, it was an interesting weekend so we had the parade uh shout out to the mainland high school basketball girls for bringing home a state championship Absolutely. yeah always Man, it's a city full of champions out here, I'm telling you. Um, they had the uh, parade, what was that, Thursday? Mm -hmm. 
and the parade Thursday. It was really cool. And, it was uh, really nice. Yeah, it was a good turnout. It was a great turnout. There's a lot of people came out there. The whole city came out there to celebrate. Um, if you didn't make it out there, I'm sorry. Hey, you'll, you'll see another one. I'm sure there'll be another parade sooner or later down the road. So, uh, so how's everybody's weekend, man? How's your week going? Good. Buddy, good? Good. Good. Yeah. Yep. It was, a, it was a great weekend, huh? Yo, I got some rest. Yeah, you got some After rest? After Saturday, I got some rest. <laughs> what? And I didn't even worry about watching film when I got home, man. I was just like, man, I'm just going to enjoy this one. It was my birthday weekend, and I believe it was your anniversary weekend as well. Yeah. Yep. That, was, that was some great gifts we got. Right. So, speaking of that, you know, uh, well, I guess Coach Craig, anything with you? I don't want to skip over you. No, um, we just went to the Hard Rock today, uh, uh-huh. Tamara and... and uh, the rest of the team went. The administrator, Sam, and her assistant. Oh, I missed that and one. And we went to check out the venue for the big yellow we have coming on June 3rd. Looks very positive. It's going to be a great, great uh, venue we've so. put together. And, of course, Jeep Week is on this week, so we mm-hmm. saw many Jeeps on and off the beach. And... Uh, it looks like we're going to have a great show when we go down there to the Hard Rock on yeah. uh, the second and third. And then uh, I've been talking to a lot of our sponsors this week. Um, they're very excited about the uh, sponsor bowl coming up on June 3rd. Uh, very, very excited that we even thought about having a sponsor bowl. Right. So. I was really excited, and it's been what a great is, What response. is that again? You want to uh, touch, touch on it a little bit? Yes. Uh, we have 44 sponsors. And uh, after talking several times to Tamara and Derek, we decided to do a sponsor bowl for just the sponsors that we have. And for an additional $200, we will put their name on the scoreboard. They will go out for the towing costs and other things that we're going to do. During, and it's going to be called the FCFL Sp- uh, Sponsorship Bowl. And it will probably be the runner-up teams uh, in the league. And it'll be uh, right after the All-Star game. And I think it'll be very, very fantastic what goes on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, that sounds like a lot right there. That sounds like it's going to be fun. Whole lot of football. Yes. Whole lot of football. I like it. So, uh, so what's what you said uh, with this? They're just calling it the sponsorship bowl. Yes. That's what's okay. That's what I'm thinking going. that we got 44 sponsors getting ready to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope they all rumble. It's like a WrestleMania situation. <laughs> no, but I mean, they're very excited about the the, the, the bowl itself. Got you. Got you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that that'll be that ought to be fun right there. And you said that's going to be uh, with the Hard Rock at the second and the third, or what no, the it? third, the third when we have when we play the, the championship weekend. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And that'll be the game before. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ten four. Ten four. All right. Well, that sounds like a lot going on. So we definitely got busy couple weeks ahead of us. So other than that, man. And I also uh, got a. Uh, for the uh, national anthem, we have a lady that uh, used to be in the. Uh, she was the number one star in Sam. What was that? American Idol. American Idol. She was the number one star in American Idol. She lives in Daytona Beach here, and she will be singing the national anthem. Ooh, nice, nice. All right. Anything else? That's it. That's right it, now. man. I'm All so right. busy this week. It's been absolutely crazy. Uh, well, I, I guess, it. hey, that's a good thing. That's yes, one thing that absolutely. is that we definitely won't complain about being too busy. Never that. So, uh, so yeah, man. So, FCFL recap, man, this, this past weekend, um, we had supposed to be three games, but we ended up playing two. Uh, we had the Blue Devils uh, go down to the Centurions. And the Centurions came out with it 14-0. I know there was a lot of controversy with, you know, refs and lights. and Which, I mean, if you're a home field, you got to have your lights. 
You know, you gotta you gotta get that going. That's you know, we see how dang we see how dangerous that happens, you know, when people try to play out there with no lights and you know, especially with the type of fields that we usually end up on with fences being close. We had a incident in our game where we ended up having a a player and the defender ran right out the touchdown and, and it's only like a couple feet and there's a fence right there and they ended up running right to the fence and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he rolled his ankle pretty good. Well we're waiting on the swelling to go down still to see see what all that is about but you know, hopefully that that happens. That's uh, he definitely he walks that one off. So yeah, walks yeah. that one off. <laughs> 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 so and then um, but yeah, so 14-0, uh, Centurions won that one. Then we had the uh, Bengals were supposed to go down to the Outlaws, I believe. Oh, no, the Outlaws were supposed to go to the Bengals. To the Rise. To that Rise? I thought it was the Bengals. That were supposed the rise. To okay, so they were supposed to play the Rise, mm-hmm. and uh, that game didn't happen. And then, uh, so then we'll move on to our game where we went and we played the Bulldogs. Um, they didn't have the home field, so we ended up going into Jacksonville thanks to uh, Coach Joe found us uh, some spots out there and uh, got us a field to play on. And the Clarks, you know, they, they, we've had too many bye weeks, you know, so it gets to a point where they're like, hey, man, we'll just, we'll pay for it, even though, you know, we're, we're supposed to be the away team. You know, they made it happen, made it happen to where our guys could get out there and get on the field. And, and what a glorious game it was. I mean, that was 52-0. I mean, you don't you don't ask for a better game than that. I mean, it was, I'm sure for everybody else, it got a little boring to a certain point, but I'm telling you, man, I was I was riding high on that sideline, man. I was smiling from ear to ear the whole time. <laughs> barely could find anything wrong, man. I was I, I barely even coached that game, to be honest. <laughs> I, said, I called a couple stunts here and there, and, you know, it pretty much just, you know, handled itself. It was a good game. It was a great game. How'd you feel about it, Coach? Very exciting. I mean, every I was running up and down from side to side, wondering when was something going to go wrong, but it really did. Yeah, it never did. Never did. No. Coach Joe, you got anything you want to add in on it, or? No, I'm, I'm just I'm I'm pleased with what the guys did. We still we start off slow again. Uh, uh, you know, mixed emotions and stuff like that's going on. It's about you know driving that far and all yeah. that stuff like that, but. Um, but other than